Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see, we're here in my bathroom again. And so that can only mean one thing. We're doing skincare, guys. So So my face is freshly cleansed and it feels kind of dry and I'm not sure if I should put any moisturizer on top yet but I have this amazing product that I want to share with you. This product is a mix-in mask from Nectar Bath Treats. It's basically a face mask kit guys and it says here fresh handmade by you. And there's a reason why it says that in this mask is a kit that allows you to create or customize your own mask to your own liking with your own ingredients. I wasn't the first one to see this, guys. I learned about this through Vanessa Beauty and I'm gonna link her channel down below and also right here on the cards. This video is a little mini collab with Vanessa Beauty. She discovered this mask through nectar bath treats so let's talk about this mask if you haven't heard about nectar bath treats i talk all about them in a previous video that i had i'll link it up here in the cards or in the description box below or a link at the end of this video i talk about bath soaps bath bombs all sorts of bath treats basically today is the mix in mask i'm a little afraid because my face is pretty sensitive but i feel like my face is more um sensitive because it's hormonal acne and not really the products that i put on my face this custom mix in mask is 38 dollars, and so when you open this up it comes in this beautiful packaging guys and it said let the fun begin nectar bath treats mix in mask and you have a little card right here so i'm pulling it out and it has the instructions on how to use the mask and it says that the gel base is for dry sensitive skin when you buy this entire box you get to customize what you want first you get to choose the base that you want and there are three bases to choose from which is the clay base the cream base and the gel base. I decided to go with gel because I needed the hydration and also my skin was sensitive. I've never had a lot of luck with clay masks. I feel like they break me out. I know they're supposed to be like pore cleansing and just, you know, extracting all the impurities out of your skin, but I don't know. They get extracted and then they stay on my skin <laughs> and turn into acne. So <laughs> I feel like that's what's happening. So I just like pass. And of course, the other one is a cream base. I try to stay away from creams because I feel like they're a little heavy for my skin type, which is oily to combination skin. So I picked the gel base. And this is what it looks like right here. I hope you guys can see that. And then this is where the fun truly begins because you get to choose your mix-ins. So you get to choose up to six different ingredients. There are four ingredients to choose from. You have the antioxidant mix-ins, you have the nourishing mix-ins, cleansing mix-ins, and the exfoliants. So you can mix and match whatever combination of six items or ingredients that you want to include in your box. I believe I grabbed like two antioxidants, one nourishing ingredients, two cleansing, and then one exfoliant. I want to try a little bit from each category and I pick the ingredients that matches my skin needs. So the ingredients I picked is turmeric, so this yellow one right here, the matcha green tea, this one is strawberry powder, and then this one I'm kind of afraid of. <laughs> It's a cranberry seeds. This one is the banana powder. And then this one is, let's see, I forgot what this is. This one is peppermint. So in the box, you get your base and the six mix-ins or ingredients. You also get the spatula for applying the mask on your face. And then you also get this little kind of spoon that you could use to mix the base and the different ingredients together. The strawberry powder right here is supposed to be high in antioxidants. It's basically a natural salicylic acid, guys. And it also delivers gentle exfoliation to help you get that radiant skin. 
So that's the first one. The matcha green tea right here. You guys, it's raining right now. This is insane. I heard thunder and then all of a sudden it started raining. I did not expect that in the summertime. So this one is the matcha green tea powder, antioxidant and it helps with oily skin. Duh, I had to have this, right? And then turmeric. Turmeric has so many great ingredients. And actually, Vanessa did a video of this, mixing it in with honey and her clay base mask. I'll link her video right here. Turmeric is an anti-inflammatory, so it helps when you have acne. It also helps with the skin's radiance, like it gives you that glow that Vanessa likes to call it. Um, also, it reduces hyperpigmentation, guys. So if you have scarring from acne, this helps lighten it up. Here's the cranberry seeds, and this is what they look like. They're really seeds, guys. I'm so scared. <laughs> Okay, cranberry seed. It's a heavy exfoliant. And I picked the heaviest of them all because remember, I like it rough. <laughs> Wish me luck on this that it doesn't create tears on my skin. You know what I mean? This is the banana powder and this is the one that I picked as far as the hydrating factor. It's full of vitamins A, B and E and it helps smoothen the skin. You can have clear skin, like no acne, but very dull looking. And so you wanna put in that hydration that your skin needs. And the last mix in that I have is the peppermint powder. And the peppermint powder removes excess oils it cleanses and soothes the skin. And then of course I got the gel base. So, ooh, it's really jelly, like clear, clear. It's kind of thick. Let me feel it. Ooh, it's thick though. Can you guys see that? It's kind of thick, like it won't move once you touch it. There's no scent, and that's what I love about Nectar Bath Treats. So I saw Aloe, I saw Witch Hazel, and I was sold. I had to get that. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I saw Vanessa do the cream base. Definitely check that out. Also, in this collab, she is creating another video using the gel base, just like me, because she actually bought two boxes, guys. She is planning to use different ingredients as me, so definitely check that out. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get like this much, just enough for what I need for my face. Maybe two scoops of those, yeah. And then I'm gonna use this little white spatula right here. And what ingredient does my skin need right now? Okay, I don't know, what should I get, the matcha? All right, I'm gonna use three ingredients. I know Vanessa warned me and she said, use one ingredient at a time, that way you know how your skin reacts to each ingredient. I'm gonna put a little bit of the cranberry. I knew I wanted some sort of exfoliation because I'm all about it. So let's go, this is what it looks like right here. I'm gonna put a little pinch, okay. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna add the turmeric in because you know, I think it's the best ingredients out of the six. There's the turmeric right here. And it's filled to the brim, which I love. And I'm just gonna put one scoop. You know what, I'm gonna add another two scoops. It's like playing with skincare right now. And the third ingredient is the banana powder because I want that hydration back into my skin. So there's the banana powder. Oh my gosh, the banana powder is hard, guys. What? Okay, it's not like powdery. I'm like scraping it off. Okay, well, here's all the ingredients in a little bowl, guys. Right there. Now, when Vanessa did this, it was a little watery for her. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more powder, maybe the hydrating powder, the banana powder one, if it looks a little too thin, you know, or runny, because I want it to stick on my face. This is so fun! Oh my gosh. 
Hey guys, it doesn't look watery or runny. It's not too, too bad. You see those? It's such a pretty mask. You see like the turmeric that we added in. It gives you that yellowy mustard color. And of course the banana powder is kind of yellow. And then you have the dots, the little seeds from cranberry. So what? a cool mask now i gotta tell you guys the instructions according to nectar bath treats you're supposed to mix in all of your six ingredients into the whole entire gel base and then you have about 30 days of shelf life before the ingredients expire so i didn't want to limit myself to like 30 days okay i think it's ready oh my gosh this smells like curry <laughs> It smells like spaghetti sauce, like raw spaghetti sauce or when it's out of the can, like tomato sauce. Okay, it said to mix it in for a whole minute. So I think it's been a minute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it. about two big giant scoops of the gel base in here. I want to use it all. I don't want to waste it. I have an active acne right here. I'm wondering how that's going to react to all this. The cranberry seeds are just sitting on top of the skin, but my plan is once I'm ready to wash this face mask off, I'm going to kind of gently rub it onto my skin and so that it gives me that exfoliation that I need. But so far, it feels so cooling and refreshing. It doesn't say how long you're supposed to keep the mask on. So I'm just going to do the standard um, 10 to 15 minutes. Normally, I would leave it on for a good 15 to 20. But, you know, since we're kind of unsure about the products, you know, we'll see. But hopefully, I specifically chose these products for my skin type, for my skin needs. So hopefully, it gives me what I need. Okay guys, it's been 10 minutes. So it feels a little drying, but not entirely. Not like those clay masks that I've tried before. It's a little bit more creamier than the clay mask, I would say. And now I'm gonna just slightly rub in that um, cranberry. Try not to put the mask too close to your eyes, guys. The cranberries don't feel like, like a harsh exfoliation at all, actually. They're sticking to my hands more than anything. I am ready to wash this off. I'm laughing guys because I see a yellow tint on my face and it won't come off <laughs> I think it's the turmeric how funny so can you guys see that I'm gonna move in closer I hope you guys can see it but it seems like see how this is more yellow than like my ear for example so the turmeric left a yellow tint on my face hmm it didn't do that to Vanessa I wonder why mine uh, left a yellow tint because she used turmeric too I don't know I don't know uh, hopefully my color goes back to normal and this isn't permanent oh my gosh I would freak out if I'm forever looking like an Oompa Loompa no <laughs> okay thoughts when I had the mask on for 10 minutes it felt a little like sensitive to my skin but that cooling effect keeps coming back to my skin like it felt cooling the whole time I had it on it kind of was like fighting first it was cooling then it felt hydrating then it felt kind of drying and then it felt kind of uh, stinging I think because this active pimple that I have here also but that's not the masks fault um, yeah I'm yellow my skin feels amazing by the way it feels like it's a lot more smoother it feels hydrated 
I mean, of course, I'm still gonna follow with a moisturizer and all my skincare stuff, but for today, I'm gonna lighten up on the skincare so that I know if I have any sort of irritation, it's from those three ingredients. Other than the yellow effect, I hope this definitely washes off after I take a shower because, you know, like I have jaundice right now. <laughs> So that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this mask. I think we will try other ingredients. Maybe I'll do a part two of this video. And also please check out Vanessa. She is also doing the gel base this time and with a different type of ingredient. So I'm curious what she's gonna put together because the last video that she had using the um, Kaolin clay, Base. She actually put in a couple of ingredients together and just, you know, made her own mask from scratch. So it was amazing and fun to watch. So definitely check both of her videos out. You'll definitely learn a lot from her channel when it comes to skincare. Specifically, she loves Korean skincare. So it's always fun to watch and see what kind of mask and skincare items she gets. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And if you wanna watch my my other nectar bath treats video I'll definitely link it down below they're a fun brand they're a fun company so I think they're definitely worth checking out comment down below what mix in you'd want to try hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye